Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this video is going to be a lookbook of like typical college outfits that I wear that aren't just like leggings and a long sleeve t-shirt because where I go to college it's pretty typical for people to like dress up. I know a lot of um, like exchange students especially like Americans and Canadians think it's really funny that we kind of dress up for class even though we don't we just like wear pants instead of leggings but um, I pretty much wear leggings as pants though. The pants I'm wearing in these two, in this lookbook, are actually leggings. Um, I can go like this. Uh, so they're great because I'm a dancer so I can play in them. <laughs> um, but I did not intend on putting a little intro for this video but my camera was acting up and it was out of focus for so much of it. So I thought I would just talk through some of the things and insert the clips over this instead. Um, so these outfits are actually as well like so mix and matchable. Um, for lack of a better explanation and they're just kind of examples of things I wear so I wear similar things to this like button-down shirts and kind of long and long sleeve um, t-shirts and jumpers so yeah I think I'll just start right away and yeah we'll just get into it so the first outfit I'm going to show I only have a very short clip of and it is my black stretchy pants from Gap, which I always wear, a pair of tall black boots from Clarks, um, just such a staple. Um, and they're actually quite tall, which is good because I have like a quite a long shin for a very short person, if that makes sense. But um, they fit really well. And I also am wearing a long kind of a jumper from Pennies or Primark, depending on where you live. And it the jumper is new. It's a little bit like Batwing style, but it, it cuts up at the sides. So it kind of you can flash a little bit of your side there, but it's also like perfect muffin top area. So I would probably wear um, a little top underneath it, but that's just me because I really feel the cold. So then I also have that with a barber jacket on top because I wear my barber jacket all the time, especially at this time of year. It's kind of wintry spring and like autumnal time, it's really the best time for your barber. So all of these outfits, I would wear my barber jacket over. Um, and yeah, I think that's it for the first outfit. I'm also wearing my monogram necklace in all of them. The second outfit in this lookbook is this, it's just a simple button down shirt that I got from Hollister. Hollister are so good in their sales. Definitely check them out. That, say, that shirt I'm pretty sure I got for like 20 euro and it's such good quality, it's so comfortable. And I have the sleeves rolled up on it just because the sleeves are actually super long. And I don't even have like short arms, but the sleeves are super, super long, so. That's why they're rolled up even though I'm cold. I do have my little Patagonia vest over that because the first clip got cut out and I was showing that I wear that Patagonia vest over pretty much everything that I would show in this lookbook. As I was saying, everything is kind of interchangeable. I would wear my Patagonia vest or my barber or both with pretty much all of these outfits. Um, I'm wearing the same black stretchy pants from Gap, which are amazing. And in this one, I'm wearing short little ankle boots that are from Skechers that I really like and are pretty comfortable, except for the fact that they gave me a cut on my ankle, but I'll forgive them and I'm probably gonna continue wearing them. So the third outfit is my Aran jumper and the green stretchy pants that I'm wearing right now. And I have my hair up in a bun just because I would usually wear my hair in a bun or a braid for um, wearing a jumper like that because my hair is quite floofy naturally. So um, it would get like really fluffed up and kind of caught in the wool. And I'm wearing the green pants and I'm also wearing Ugg boots. This is like a, I just want to wear a pajamas day kind of an outfit because it kind of looks like pajamas and it really does feel like pajamas. So that's a very simple outfit and super warm. And if it was really, really cold, because Aran jumpers, that's an actual like traditional Aran jumper. Um, it's completely wool. So if you wore like a long sleeve t-shirt underneath that, you'd be so, so warm. And I would only wear my barber over that because you definitely don't need anything else. So then the last outfit in this lookbook, I did four outfits because I actually only have four days of college a week. Um, I come home at weekends because I have like three day weekends because um, that makes seven, <laughs> duh. But um, I'm at home right now, that's when I always film. So um, this outfit is kind of inspired, I'm still wearing it right now because I didn't think I was gonna be filming this, but this outfit is kind of inspired by my foot injury because I am wearing runners. I'm just wearing these Nike runners and I'm not gonna give the name of them. It's like Revolution 3 because they're actually little boys. Um, I'm a UK five, so I think that's a US seven and a half, which is pretty 
standard, but it's actually still children's. So I got them for like 40 euro, much cheaper than your average pair of runners, but they're not actual, actual runners. Cause I was running in them and then I was told I shouldn't. But anyways, I had a foot injury and I wore those sometimes when my foot was really, really bad. Cause certain shoes like duck boots would make it flare up really bad. So I kind of had to find, it wasn't very me to wear runners. Um, as like fashion and wear like more casual outfits it's just not really my personality or my style but I did kind of need to work it into it so this is how I would do that and I think I layer my Patagonia vest over it as well because that thing is just so cozy um, and I love the grey colour and it goes with a lot so that's another like casual also very comfortable outfit especially if you get foot injuries like a, me a dancer so that was kind of one that I wore a lot last semester when I was dealing with that so on a typical college day I would probably have my hair, most of the time I would have it down but if I do I'd have it in a, like a bun, I rarely wear my hair in a ponytail because I know it's quite damaging, other than that I'd wear my hair in a braid, um, but buns work really well and I'm a dancer so I'm like used to them. And then I would put just a plain black headband or actually any headband, headbands are so good to like jazz it up but I do find that they don't always look the best when my hair isn't straight. And I kind of shake down my hair. Um, I typically don't heat style my hair for college just because it's not really worth it. Um, most of my day is spent like in my room doing readings or watching Gossip Girl. So, or at dance, like sweating. So I have to wash my hair afterwards and it's just not worth it. I have very fragile hair and it is color treated as you can tell in some of those clips by my roots look so bad. So, um, you know, if I was in a super crazy rush and I only like put on mascara or something and I need like a facial distraction, I'll put on a headband and it'll kind of <laughs> make hopefully people won't realize like all the breakouts on my face like right now. So they're just, I just keep my hair natural for college. And um, I know it's not your typical like full face of makeup. Well, I am in this close, but I don't always wear like a full, full face of makeup and hair done nicely. And then like super casual clothes is kind of the opposite. But I think that makes a bit more sense in some ways. So I hope you enjoyed this lookbook. I hope it wasn't too long because now I'm like jabbering along talking. Um, but it's because I wasn't expecting to be doing an intro slash outro for this video. Um, if you did enjoy it, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of exciting things coming in the near future. I have a haul next week. And I think after that, I'm probably going to be starting to talk about a mission trip I'm going on in the summer to China which is a little bit crazy and a little bit scary but yeah it's happening so um so that's it from me and I'll see you in my next video